Hello and welcome to another tutorial. We will not be talking about iMovie today. Instead, we'll be talking about sound effects. It's a question that I get many, many times. Where do I get my sound effects? Well, I'm here to tell you some of my top websites that I use to get sound effects. Now, I don't remember every website at all. I've been collecting sound effects for maybe seven years now. And I have a huge library in my iTunes of just sound effects. So I obviously can't remember where I get all of them. But here's a quick tip on where I get my sound effects. The answer might surprise you. It's the internet. Oh my god. Okay, so here are my top web pages for sound effects. The first one is findsounds.com. Type that in. It'll take you to a page like this. Now this web page has okay sound effects. It's not the greatest search engine. You have to be kind of generic. For example, if I type in sniper, nothing will pop up. But if I type in gun, things will start to pop up. You have to be kind of generic with this web page. But this is where I was first getting my sound effects, and it's a great place to start. You don't have to make an account or anything. You just right click on the sound effect WAV file you want save link as then you can save it into a new folder and things like that make sure it's saved as a dot wave file now one trick that I do with sound effects is I don't name them the way that the person named them I named them myself and also I put very long names because when I put these in my iTunes library I want to make sure the sound effect has all the necessary tags so, for example, this is a gunshot or something, so I'm going to put gun, shot, bang, pistol, handgun. I just give the sound effect a variety of names, so that way when I need a sound effect that has something sounding like this, I have it pop up in my search bar in iTunes. The next website I like is this one here. It basically has a large archive of sound effects many different pages, many different things. It does have a category selector, not necessarily a search bar. You don't have to make an account. Basically what you can do is click on a page that you want to view. You can play the sounds, but again, all you have to do is right click and go save link as. And again, I go into the name and name it however I feel like the sound sounded like and make sure you are saving it as wave now the last website is called freesounds.org this one does have a search bar I believe you have to make your own account again you can replay your sounds and the downloads link is right there you click on it it'll take you to the next page and so on and so on so those are my top three web pages for sound effects now the other trick I have for you on the internet is I use good old fashioned Google. And I type in the name of a video game and then I type in sound pack. This is if you're going for sound effects that come in video games of course. Now I really like doing this. What a sound pack is is basically a person did not like the sound effects that come with a video game on the PC so they decided to make their own now there's so many different re search results and there's no way I'm going to go through all of them but basically if you want a sound effect from Halo or a sound effect from Counter-Strike or Unreal Tournament you know some of my favorite games just type in the name of the game and then type in sound pack and that can get you some good results of sound effects that you can use for yourself now sometimes you'll come across a web page that isn't about sound effects but does have some for you. A couple episodes back I talked about roadiepolis.com and they provide special effects for a small fee just like Action Essentials except much cheaper. If you go to under free stuff and go down to the bottom you'll come across a sound pack for fighting. So again, web pages that don't necessarily focus on sound effects actually do provide some sound effects for you somewhere on their web page. Now the last tip I have for you is sometimes on the internet 
you just won't find a sound effect that you're looking for. In which case, you make your own. So what I recommend doing is filming with your video camera you making the sound effect. So it's not that hard to make your own sound effect. It can be a little tricky if you're doing things like with explosions. But if you need the sound of like rustling leather or something like that, just point your video camera at the clothes and then shake the leather and then you can have some sound effect like that. One other tip I do recommend is whenever I make a movie, I don't only use one sound effect for one item. I sometimes mix and match sound effects. So for example, a gunshot, I would have a sound of metal scraping for the slider on the gun. I'd have a shell casing ejection sound. I'd have, of course, the gun bang. And I'd also have little rattle sounds if someone is shaking the gun. So you combine sound effects together to make one good sound effect. So that's a good place to get you started on finding sound effects. It is not a complete list, but with your help we can make it an even bigger list. So if you have a web page that you like to get sound effects from, send it to me in a YouTube message and I'll modify the description of this video. And future viewers of this video can have a even more full list added to their library of sound effects. So let's help make a big list of sound effects in the description of this video. Next video, I'll be talking about where I get my music for my videos. All these songs are royalty free, which means you are still able to use them for making money in your videos. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.